Welcome to our Next Generation Festival. And we have been producing these educational festivals now for 40 years in Monterey as part of our goal in our programs with the Monterey Jazz Festival. And we welcome all of you and hope that you're having a great weekend. What I would like to do now is introduce, you know, Monterey has a long history of artists in residence and they all embody great artistry, a passion for education, and a willingness to communicate their skills to young people. And this year, we have an artist in residence who really embodies all of those qualities to a very large degree. You heard her last night performing. Uh, you will certainly uh, hear her at this year's Monterey Jazz Festival. And more than anything, she is a masterful communicator. And she is here to tell you a little bit about this great music we call jazz and maybe share a few few of her secrets with you. And she is accompanied by her wonderful pianist, Mr. Peter Martin. Would you please welcome Diane Reeves. <laughs> We're gonna start right off. I told everybody I'm taking them out of their comfort zone. Because that's the only way I feel you can find what is uniquely your own. So the exercise will start out with these nice young singers introducing themselves to you through song. Everybody. My name is Mike Richardson. I go to Fullerton Union High. That's in Southern California. I'm 17. I want to do everything. <laughs> Hello, Monterey. My name is Nina Hadzi Amte. I'm from beautiful Folsom. Six three zero. I'm eighteen. I love jazz, and I also love Diane Reeves. Thank you very much.
was absolutely wonderful. Well, you're going to be first anyway, because I told him, they said, well, who do you want to be first? I said, whoever says I want to be first. So here she is. Now, the, what is the song that you're singing? No More Blues. Okay. The reason I had them do this the way that I had them do it is because sometimes the best way to find out who you are is to do it very slowly, especially for vocalists, because we have words and we have to communicate ideas and feelings and emotions. So sometimes what I do when I first started out singing, um, I would take a lyric of a song and I would look at it and try to find myself in the lyric or at least find out what it was about the song that I like. And then I would take the song and the lyric and I would just say it out of the meter, out of the tempo, so that I could find out how I would say it. And through that, I would find out how I would even phrase the idea. Like for instance, what's the uh, poem that they have? Lady Ballard. Now this next song is one of the first songs that I learned. And I'm just gonna say it first. I can only give you love that lasts forever. And a promise to be near each time you call. And the only heart I own for you and you alone. That's all. That's all. And the song goes, I can only give you love that lasts forever. And a promise to be near each time you call. And the only heart I own for you and you alone. That's all. That's all. This is the way we'll do it. I can only give you love that lasts forever. And a promise to be near each time you call. That's how I would want to say it. So, I want you to say the words to your song. Just say it. Just say it. And you can add words, whatever, but I want you to communicate the idea of the song. Right. Hi. <laughs> no more blues, I'm going back home. No more blues, I promise no more to roam. Home is where the heart is. The funny part is, my heart's been right here all along. No more tears and no more sighs. No more fears, I'll say no more goodbyes. If travel beckons me, I swear I'm gonna refuse. I'm gonna settle down and there'll be no more blues. No more blue. 
them rehearse it originally. but it's easier to sing at faster tempos than it is to sing at slower ones. And it's at the slower tempos that you can really find what's going on. So this time, we're gonna do it one more time, totally out of time, okay? And I just really, I'm gonna let you sit here and tell you, I want you to tell me the story of the song. Okay. okay. And why did you pick the song? Because it's so you know, uh, Well, I picked this song because um, I just, I love the feeling of, you know, going home after a long day or, you know, traveling and then coming home with, like, a new perspective and no more blues, I'm going back home. No more sadness. I'm just going to be home and enveloped in, like, this warm sense of being at home. same thing over the same up-tempo rhythms so you can really take your time because you have a great accompanist here and he's like right there for you and that's really really that's very very strong oh, that's that's a really good place to start that was absolutely wonderful thank, thank you, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> who 
sing and you don't know what love is? Oh, you are next. Come on, come on. All right. What song are you singing? It could happen to you. Okay, just say it. Okay. Um, <laughs> hide your heart from sight. Lock your dreams at night. It could happen to you. Don't count stars, or you might stumble. Someone drops a sigh and down you tumble. Keep an eye on spring. Run when church bells ring. It could happen to you. All I did was wonder how your arms would be. And it happened to me. That's it. heart from sight lock your dreams at night it could happen to you don't count stars or you might stumble someone drops a sigh and down you tumble keep an eye on spring Run when church bells ring, it could happen to you. All I did was wonder how your arms would be, and it happened to me. When you spoke the lyrics, you had personality and you, you were funny, you know. You brought a sense of humor to it, you know. And, um, but when you sing it, it's like I'm tied, tied to this melody and to the way this is and I gotta get every note right. I want you to sing it just like you said it, you know. I want you to really deliver it and have fun with it. I don't care if you mess up. This is the place where we have to mess up because we have to find you in this song. Okay? Hide your heart from sight Lock your dreams at night It, it could happen to you from sight, lock your dreams at night, it, it, it could happen to you, don't count stars or you might stumble, someone drops a sigh and down you tumble. Someone drops a sign down, you tumble. Someone. Start with the beginning of the lyric again. Someone drops a sign down, you tumble. Start from the top of the sign. Stay the top of the sign. Hide your height from the side. Next line. Drop your, oh, hide your height from the side. Lock your dreams at night. Okay, just say that again. Hide, say it again. Hide your heart from sight. Hide your heart from sight. Then what? Lock your dreams at night. Lock your dreams at night. Okay. You know? <laughs> Take your time, because all that time that you're using to hold the note, you're holding it from one beat to the next, but you can use it to phrase. You understand what I'm saying? So it's hold it in your mind, and then get there, and you just kind of lay behind the beat, go with the beat, whatever you want to do. Okay. So try, we're just going to do the first two lines, okay? One, two, one, two. Hide your heart from sight. Lock your dreams at night. It could happen to you. I want you to say it over the top. Don't even 
sing it. I just want you to sing it. One, two, one, two, three. Hide your heart from sight. Lock your dreams at night. Okay, like that. <laughs> okay. Hide your heart from sight. Lock your dreams at night. Hide your heart from sight. Lock your dreams at night. Hide your heart from sight. Lock your dreams at night. Okay. I just want you to walk. All these people are looking at you and stuff. I understand how that is. Just, yeah, don't go too far. Okay. okay. I'll walk that way. One, two, one, two, three. Hide your heart from sight. Lock your dreams at night. It could happen to you and you and you and you and you and you. Don't count stars, or you might stumble. Someone drops a star, and down you tumble. Keep an eye on spring. Run when church bells ring. It could happen to you. It was sit and wonder how your heart would be. And it happened to me. How does that feel? Yeah. You gotta work on your songs in that way until you, you polish them. Because that's what you have a you have a sense of humor, especially with this song. You have something that you want to say, to communicate. And sometimes when we hear the melody and the, the, the way that the song is written, we get locked in and we can't say what it is that we want to say. But now you just did. So when you practice your things, practice them like that. And they're not going to always sound like that, you know, but you're going to find your rhythm and your way of saying things. All right, that was good. You catch quick. Next. Who's next? You. Okay. You don't know what love is? Yeah. Okay, say the. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I tell him something? Yes, go ahead. I want to tell him. <laughs> that was really good. You don't know how heart burns for the love that cannot live yet never dies until you face the dawn with sleepless eyes you don't know what love is you don't know what love is you don't know what love is I picked, I picked this song because, I mean, I think love is relatable to anyone. And, you know, everyone is, almost everyone has experienced, you know, that, that, that break. I mean, if, you know, just it, and to tell people, you know, you don't know what love is until you've lost all these things. And, yeah, you learn every time to, it gets easier every time. Okay, I want to hear it. Well, it doesn't get easier. Well. <laughs> You don't know how hard it for the love that cannot live. the day. 
done with sleepless nights. You don't know what love is. You don't that cannot live yet never dies until you face the dawn with sleepless eyes you don't know what love is
Okay, at one point she said, oh, I, I sang the wrong lyric. You just keep going. Because the reality is if you, you know, a, a lot of great singers, you know, just you have to commit to the moment. You have to commit to the song, the emotion, and everything. You might be in a situation where you totally forget the lyric, but you're in touch with what, you, what it is that you want to say. And you might say, I loved him so deeply then he called me up late last night you know because that's what you're feeling you know so that might come out and it's all good and you never know you know you just do what you do you know you can't go oh audience i, for I forgot mm -mm. you keep working with it you, you you go with it you know because at that moment that's what you're feeling and you'll find that in those times you know that's another form of um, improvisation and you will find that in those times you're gonna find something out about yourself you know so you just have to sustain you have to keep doing it that was great and wonderful <laughs> Okay, say the words. Okay, okay. <clears throat> now you say you're lonely. You cried the whole night through. Well, okay, okay. Well, you can cry me a river, cry me a river. I cried a river over you. Now you say you're sorry for being so untrue. Well, you can cry me a river, cry me a river. I cried a river over you. Why did you select this song? It's, I just, it's really powerful, mm -hmm. and I really like the way that the lyrics matched up with the song and, and the melody. Mm -hmm. And it's sassy too, so I like that about it. Yeah, but when you're telling him, so, you know, look, I mm -hmm. cried for you. Yeah. You don't cry for me. And he's Say not crying. Yeah. yeah. You make make me know that. Okay. Okay. Say so it. be more angry about it. Well, no, just I want you can be Sorry. you don't have to be angry. You know. Yeah. You don't have to be angry, but it's you have to let me know. You could you know, it could be sarcasm, it could be all kind of things. It's like look, your your story behind the song might be, um, you know, you think you have one over me. Mm -hmm. But um, a long time ago, I cried for you. I'm over you. And <laughs> now I'm gone, and you want me, so you can just cry, too. You see what I'm saying? I got you, yeah. Okay. So, you know, it's like, hey, so that's, that's the way life is. It's, it's unfair. I have to go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay. All right. Okay. okay. I want to I wanna hear that. You know who was um, Barbara Streisand mm -hmm. was amazing at being able to do this sort of thing? I'll tell you a song that she did in a minute. But okay. Say that. okay. Okay. So say, say the words again? Yes. Tell All me right. the story. Okay. All right. Now you say you're lonely. You cried the whole night through. Well, you can cry me a river. Cry me a river. I cried a river over you. Say that line again. Whole line? Okay. Now, you say you're lonely. You cried the whole night through. Well, you can cry me a river. Cry me a river. I cried a river over you. You have to be in the next one with those lyrics. You can be funny about it. Okay. Okay, okay. Right, get into it. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it can be sassy. Okay. <clears throat> now you say you're lonely. Well, you cried the whole night through. Well, you can cry me a river. Cry me a river. I cried a river over you. Now, you say you're sorry for being so untrue. Now, you say you're sorry 
you're sorry for being so untrue. Well, you can cry me a river. Cry me a river. I cried a river over you. <laughs> Sorry, I was so into that first verse. Um, okay, all right. Oh, this is a good part. Okay. <laughs> you drove me, nearly drove me out of my head while you never shed a tear. I remember, I remember all that you said. Told me love was too plebeian told me you were through with me, well, now you say you love me. Well, just to prove that you do, why don't you cry me a river, cry me a river. I cried a river over you. Yeah. How do you do this? You do it slower. I do it slowish. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Now you say you're lonely. Okay, some more sassy. Well, it's, this is not so much to be more sassy. The way you just said the lyric, mm -hmm. we didn't communicate that just yeah. now. You know? So maybe it's not long notes. Mm -hmm. Now, you say you're lonely. Yeah. You know, like that? Okay. You know, give me that. Just what you said. Okay. One. say you're lonely you cry the whole night through now you say you're lonely you see what I'm saying mm -hmm. now you say you're lonely you see what I'm saying oh yeah okay, okay. you cry the whole night through Please. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I got gotcha. you. Beautiful instrument. Yeah. You have to know your instrument uh -huh. and what it can do, you know. And you, I think you have that so far. But now, this isn't about now. You know, it's, it's about telling. I want you, in this exercise, about telling the story. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Right. All right. Okay. <laughs> say you're lonely you cry the whole night through well you can cry me a river cry me a river I cried a river over you Tell him, all right. Oh. 
Now you say you're sorry for being so untrue. Okay. Now you say you're sorry for being so untrue. Okay. Now you say you're sorry. You say you're sorry. You know, yeah. I want you to put just for the exercise, put a little laugh in that. Okay. You're sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now you say you're sorry for being so untrue. Okay, okay. Okay. Now you say you're sorry for being so untrue. Now say the whole thing again. Just say it for me. Okay. Now you say. Out of time. No, okay, okay. Just, just like. I just want you to say it. Okay, okay. Like you're okay. talking. There you right. right there. All right, who am I looking at? you. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're the first person I saw. I know you're married, I'm sorry. <laughs> that even makes it worse. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Just look in your direction, okay? All right. <laughs> mm, okay. Now, you say, you're sorry. Oh, okay. You're in the song. Mm -hmm. the song. Now you say you're sorry. You know, just say mm -hmm. Now you say you're sorry for being so untrue. That's not how you talk. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I don't, just like, so you, I'm just going to say it to you. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, he's married. I can't do it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. But I'm a woman. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry. It's all right. Okay. Now you say you're sorry mm -hmm. for being so untrue. Okay. Well, you can cry me a river. Cry me a river. I cried a river over you. <laughs> in the softest way. I want you to have that emotional yeah. subtext there so that you can say the words like that, so that you hear the phrasing like you would say it, you know? Yeah. That was a beautiful thing I think about um, someone like Billie Holiday. I mean, she made you see things in a totally different way, you know? When she's saying, I love you, Porgy, she said, don't let him touch me with his hot hand. I mean, I really got that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like because when he does, I lose my mind. There's a whole thing that goes behind that. I want to be with you, but it's something about him that just, you know, if he please, just, I, you know, I'm desperate here. Yeah. All right? So I want to hear all of that in the softness of your singing. Okay. Okay. Do it again. Second verse. Second verse. Mm -hmm. Acapella? Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. Now you say you're sorry for being so untrue. Well, you can cry me a river, cry me a river. I cried a river. Over you. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. 
everything that I'm telling all of you guys, I'm not saying this is how you have to do it, but this is how you can get to what it is that you need to say. You have to tear everything down and find yourself in it because the more you do that, the more you will select things that really represent what it is that you want to sing. Even if something, you know, you find something and maybe the melody is not that interesting. The one thing I love about uh, Joni Mitchell is that I heard her in an interview and she, you know, her music is poetry. She wrote the harmonies underneath to give color and, and weight to what the words are saying. So as you continue on, you'll start to arrange things, hear things, want them to have a certain color underneath that can really help the emotion, you know, be heard and what it is that you want to say. You know, and that's where, because nobody can do it like you guys. Everybody up here is unique, and that's the beautiful thing. It's just finding it, refining it, and defining it, and then protecting it, you know, working on it all the time. So every song that you sing, I don't know why you sing them, you know, whatever they mean to you, strip them down in as many different ways as you can to find the essence and then from that essence, build. Okay? All right. We'll do something real quick. Do you remember Suzanne? Just the beginning. Oh, who? Did I forget somebody? Oh, oh. <laughs> She's saying, I wish you love. And the way she sings, <laughs> what, I forgot about it. I was just going to tell her. She's saying, I wish you love. I wish you bluebirds in the spring and all of these wonderful things. But really, underneath, she was saying, you know, I wish your house falls down on you. I wish you, but she says it in a way that you know that's what she's saying. Get out of the way of this woman because, you know, there's some voodoo going on. <laughs> you know? So, you know, when you go back and you listen to all of these great singers, listen to them from that place, you know, and, um, and you'll, find, you'll find yourself somewhere in there. You'll find ideas about what it is that they do. You don't have to sound like them because you never will, but you'll find things or ways to say what it is that you want to say. What I was saying earlier about, you know, sometimes you might find something that lyrically just really is something for you but the melody is just not really wonderful. So sometimes you have to build around it. And um, a while ago I did um, an album uh, called Bridges and we did Suzanne. And the melody to Suzanne is la 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 le la 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 le la 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 le la 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 le la 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 le la 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 change la 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 le la 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 le la uh oh la 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 le la 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 you know like that. But the lyrics are so beautiful. So my very dear friend, um, Billy Childs, and I got together. And I thought, wow, I really want to do something. We're only going to, because we usually have the music. It's pretty intense. But we're just going to do the beginning of it. Well, the beginning of it, it says, Suzanne takes you down by the river. And so Billy created a river for me. Suzanne takes you down to a place by the river. You can hear the boats go by. You can spend the night forever. Like that. So he created water and a scene that I could paint all of these words to. So you forget about the melody you know, which is something that I absolutely love. I love being able to change the underneath, the colors of things, so that they give me something totally different. That way I can create a whole different palette. Another song is, which is a very, very beautiful um, melody, but we wanted to um, always keep this idea of circles and changing and and what the lyric was about. So this next one was windmills. Round like 
a circle in a spiral like a wheel within a wheel never ending or beginning on an ever spinning reel like a snowball down a mountain or a carnival balloon like a carousel that's spinning running rings around the moon like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes on its face and the world is like an apple whirling silently in space like the circles that you find in the windows of your mind and so i wanted to do it like this I love, for me, I'm drawn to lyrics that really paint pictures, but I also would like the music to help me paint that picture. So a lot of times when things are being arranged or I'm working on certain things, um, I always have that in mind. What, you know, can you see these things in your, in your head? Um, we have, Peter will be here like for two more minutes. So before we go, we have, if, if there are any questions, please ask right now. I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> Oh, scatting, improvisation. You know, I look at improvisation in, in, in many, many ways. You know, it's wonderful. You have to learn the, um, you know, you have to learn a song. You have to learn what the harmonies are and so forth. But for me, improvisation is even bigger than just scatting. One of the things that I love, I've never had a backup band. I always have a band that when we're on stage, we can share ideas of music, because jazz music truly is a, a, a living art form. And when you're on stage, it has to be alive. Um, so I like to be able to work with people. Everybody has a, every pianist, every uh, guitarist, every instrumentalist, drummer, everybody has their way of approaching the music. And I always love giving them music and, and not telling them, you know, tell them a basic sketch, but always wanting to hear them inside the music because when you don't put those restraints on, especially in a, in a quartet or trio, small group situation, then something happens and everybody's like, oh, well, really, you're gonna go there? That sounds cool, let me go here and then we can all go to all of these places. And what I'm saying is, it's a very intimate exchange between um, people up here and ideas. And that's what makes the music happen beautifully every single night. So in terms of improvisation, um, I look at that as also very much a part of it. You got to be able to hear. Um, Peter earlier was playing for, what is your name? I'm sorry again, at the end. Hope, hope. And he was, he played, he kind of threw some other chords in there and she picked up on them. She was listening. You all have to really listen to your accompanist or, you know, in other words, it shouldn't just be in a, a voice accompanying situation. It should be a situation where you guys are feeding each other ideas. We're going to do one more little thing and I'll just kind of give you an idea. Um, this next song is a song that I, I, did because of one of my vocal heroes is um, Sarah Vaughn. And I love Sarah because um, she had this amazing instrument and she knew exactly what it could do at any given time. And I think that every singer needs to know everything they can know about their own instrument, what it can do. If it feels scratchy, when in the phrase you can take a swallow so that it doesn't come out. Everything. You need to know everything about your in instrument, just like a guitarist, a pianist, or any horn player. Um, so you can define, once again, and refine this instrument. And that's the thing. That was the door that she opened for me. When I sing in the morning, my voice is low, and I love it because I can sing notes that I don't ordinarily sing at night. It's, it's just like that. So sometimes I'll even record in the morning just to have a certain kind of sound. There are times when I've gone on stage and maybe I haven't had enough sleep. No sleep for me means no voice, but the voice that I do have, I know how to work it without straining it. And I also can pull things from it that are just way different from you know, any other time. So um, we're gonna do this thing and and just let's do it. Uh, let's do it out of time and and just do it. Okay. Okay, we have never
never done that intro before. You know, it's just, and it, it, this is something that happens every night. I can signal him when, vocally, when I'm ready to go into the song. And right now, he's just played me right into the first verse. Look at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree and I feel like I'm clinging to a cloud I can't understand I get misty just funny talking about a lot of times I like to really pull back way back on the phrase and I remember the very first time I ever saw Betty Carter someone who could pull so far back into the phrase that she'd still be in the verse and you'd be in the you know in the the middle of the song somewhere and I remember the first time I heard her I thought they're not playing together. Then you know, I just it, it just created this thing in me, and I and I realized, oh, she knows everything that's going on. And I remember, right after that, I was about mm, about 20, 21, and I, w I had my band and me and Billy Childs, all of us. We've known each other a long time. We went to go see her, and every night we watched her, and every night we were just caught up in this way that she would phrase. So I decided, when we went and get did our gig, that I was going to do the same thing. And I sang, The Man I Love. And I sang, Someday. And they're just going, going. <laughs> He'll come along. And I tried to do it. By the time I finished, The Man I Love couldn't find me, and I couldn't <laughs> find him either. <laughs> but I tried it. <laughs> and somewhere in there, I found myself. And a lot of times when I'm singing ballads, I just love to just really taste the words because I know that if I do that for me, this is what I do, then the audience is gonna feel what I'm feeling. So there you have it. Thank you. You've been an incredible audience. <laughs> 